Yeah, you're having a close-up of my mascara face. <laughs> so sexy. Why do we all have mascara faces? I used to laugh at my mum for her mascara face. She used to do her mascara in the car, which, thinking about it, is really dangerous. Mum, why were you doing your makeup in the car? I have no makeup on yet again. One day I might start a video where I actually look good. But I thought today I would share with you my everyday makeup routine so that you guys know how I do my makeup. I thought I would show you first my makeup bags because I love them. I keep all my brushes in this MJ Python case. So they're all my lovely pink brushes. They're all from the Vintage Cosmetic Company pretty much. My actual makeup case I've had since I was 13 years old. That is a very long time. It's this. I think you can still get them. They're from Benefit. I love it because it's so big. The very first thing I do after moisturising my face is put on this Benefit Professional. I am a huge fan of this product. I can't imagine not using it anymore. It's meant to minimise the appearance of pores, but I don't really have that many open pores. Um, but it looks like this. Um, and I like it because it just makes your skin feel really soft and I think it's a really nice base before you put your foundation on. After that I put my foundation on. At the moment I'm in a little bit of an in-between stage of foundation so I'm testing a product. So I have a teeny tiny little sample. I always like to get a sample before I buy any product because I think it's good to see how it looks. So at the moment, I'm loving this Yves Saint Laurent um, Touche Eclat. Is it Touche Eclat? I think it's called Tentacla. I'll find out and put it in the comments below. But I love it, so I think I am gonna buy a new one. But for now, I just have this teeny tiny little pot. So I've put it around my face just pretty randomly and next I'm going to use this foundation brush just to smooth it all out. I don't know if you can see but after using this brush it doesn't really absorb it very well it's still quite um, it's on the surface and I like my foundation to look as natural as possible so I then use this powder brush and I just buffer it into my face. The next thing I do is take this um, Estee Lauder Ideal Light. So this is an illuminator. Um, I use it in any kind of dark patches of my face. So under my eyes, in the dark patch where my nose is and under my chin. And I take this brush to blend it in. I would normally use a matte powder just to set this bit of my makeup but I can't actually find it. After that I apply my bronzer. You may have seen me use this bronzer already if you have watched my Holiday Essential video but I am currently obsessed with this Avon Glow bronzer. This is what it looks like. So I take this big bronzing brush I always dab off any excess powder and then I will take it around the very top of my head just under my jawline and then I take another brush which is by um, High Definition Brows this is a contouring brush so again I take off any excess powder and go underneath my cheekbones. And I try to do this as lightly as possible and blend it in, just because I, I have quite um, defined cheekbones anyway, so I don't want to look gaunt or look like I'm wearing too much makeup. It's all about trying to look natural. After I put my bronzer on, I put on my eyeliner. Um, so at the moment I'm using uh, a black MAC um, eyeliner. It's actually Lydia Bright's because she left it in my handbag and I haven't given it back to her. I think I tried to give it back to her but she said don't worry about it. So Lydia, 
thanks for your eyeliner i usually only put it on the tops of my eyes or sometimes i'll put it underneath it just depends how i feel and how good my makeup looks <laughs> After I've put the eyeliner on, I use a precision brush. I was given a tip by a makeup artist called Louise Constad. So she's a celebrity makeup artist and I was lucky enough to work with her um, on a photo shoot. And she told me that if you get a white or nude pencil and put it in the corner of your eyes, it makes the top of your nose look smaller because it gets rid of any of the shadowing that comes in here. I'm using a Barry M Coal pencil and what I do is put it into the very corner of my eye and then I also put it in just under my eyelids just to brighten my eyes up a bit. So I don't often wear eyeshadow in the daytime, again just liking to keep it as natural as possible um, but I for some reason will take a eyeshadow brush anyway and just rub it over my eyelids just to get um, just to get any of the kind of excess foundation or um, illuminate, illuminator that's come into the cracks of my eyes. I and then I put my mascara on. I am at the moment using this mascara. It's Kelly Brook for New Look. Um, it's actually really good. I know I sound surprised, but it's because I'm a bit skeptical of high street makeup. This is my favorite mascara and I use it now above any other mascara that I have. And I put it quite heavily on my top lashes. <laughs> And then as you can see, I just did it very lightly on the bottom. Um, again, all about natural. Natural is the key word of this video. At the moment, I'm using this Smooch blusher. It's a duo blusher, that's all it's called. And it's actually very broken. You know when you have a favorite blusher? I mean, tragically broken. Again, I shake off the excess powder from the brush, smile and just do my apples. <laughs> I'm using this Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit Lip Balm. It tastes like heaven. I think Burt's Bees products are really good for moisturising. I never used to do anything with my eyebrows and then Cara Delevingne came along and everyone talks about eyebrows and now I feel a little bit naked if I don't fill them in and brush them a little bit. I have wild eyebrows, they're practically their own person. So I use this brush and I brush them slightly up and then down. And then I take this HD Brow Foxy. Um, it's like a, what's it called? Well, it's an eyebrow palette and I use this color and really lightly just brush it through my brows. And then because my eyebrows are quite thin on the sides, probably because of that sexy 90s over tweeze look, um, I just pencil it down just to fill them out a little bit. So that is my everyday makeup look. Let me know what you guys think. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, then leave them below and I'll get back to everyone. And hopefully I'll see you soon. I have quite rough hands, don't I? It doesn't look very good when I put my makeup on. I'm in a little, little... So after that, I blow up. It's a Cara Calavine. Then Cara Calavine. Let me know what you... Can't talk, can I? Let me know what you guys think. Um, I think if you like it, like, give it a thumbs up. If you like it, like it. 